They went in to the president's home to find dirt, to leak to the media, and to leak to their friends in Congress in the days before an election. You've got the Justice Department coming in, though, just even after they get slapped back by the judge, telling the judge, we don't care what you think, we're going to appeal it. Of course, they have a right to appeal, but you don't tell a judge, it doesn't matter how you're going to rule, we're going to appeal. I mean, that doesn't, that's, that's inappropriate and shows contempt, as I say, for the, uh, the prerogatives of the court. And then secondly, they confess they have to turn documents back over to President Trump. And then they say, well, we didn't read your ruling to stop us from leaking this garbage to um, the House and the Senate, the supposed congressional authorities over, over, uh, with um, oversight over intelligence. You know who that means? Adam Schiff. So the court says you can't use these documents, and then they go and tell the court, well, by the way, that doesn't mean we can't give it to Congress. Talk about contempt for the rule of law. So this is what this is about, and it further confirms that this was a political operation. They went in to the president's home to find dirt, to leak to the media, and to leak to their friends in Congress in the days before an election. And hopefully get an indictment out of it, either of people close to Trump or Trump directly. All of this tied in again to President Biden's uh, red speech and his vicious attacks on what any American who dares uh, support anyone other than him and his policies. I mean, you combine that with the raid on Trump's home and this abuse of power. You see Steve Bannon now being targeted by uh, New York Democrat politicians. Perp walked in front of the media like it's, 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 it's not even third world. It's worse than that. And banana republics they don't pretend to be anything other than they are. Here they pretend to be other something, something more significant, that, that we follow the rule of law. In a banana republic, people say, well, obviously we know what's going on. Here we have the media and the president's echo chamber online and elsewhere in the establishment pretending that all this, this, this activity is legitimate. They're lying to the courts. They're abusing authority. As I say it, they're abusing the use of force. When the FBI raids a home, their ability to do that is you, you get out of our way, otherwise you'll be arrested or worse. I mean, they use force. That's the reality of it. Now, does it mean that anyone was forcibly moved? No, but that's, they rely on their ability to use force to enter someone's home to, quote, execute a warrant. And it was for political purposes. It wasn't for legitimate law enforcement purposes. And they're still lying, in my view, to the courts about it all. So we'll see what's going to happen. You know, and the irony is, I think, you know, I think it's an interesting question legally, isn't it? Whether a president can take documents with him, anything he chooses, practically speaking, when he leaves the White House, whether that and whether or not that necessarily becomes personal. I mean, we thought it was an interesting question. That's why we sued over what Bill Clinton had done. And we were told, nope, you're wrong, Judicial Watch. But what we don't like it's not an issue of transparency. It's, an equ it's a question of whether the law is going to be fairly administered. There's this little phrase in the 14th Amendment called equal protection of the law. The President Trump is not being given equal protection of the law. He's being targeted in violation of Justice Department positions, in violation of court decisions related to presidential records. And I would refer you back, if I could repeat myself, but I think it bears repeating because no one else is talking about it, to the corrupt Attorney General Garland who said, you know, typically we try to do something short of a, a, shirt, a search warrant. Well, so that admits that this was an atypical activity. Typically, and this is a big deal, we typically try to have a narrow search 
And the mirror of that is, this was a fishing expedition. It wasn't a narrow search as the Fourth Amendment requires. The president is a crime victim. His civil rights are being abused six ways to Sunday by this Justice Department and FBI. It's been going on since at least 2015. And it shows no sign of stopping. And there are people who are happy to see it, and frankly, there are Republicans who are happy to see it because of policy differences and personality differences with Trump. And my view is, and Judicial Watch's view is, this is a rule of law question. If we're going to abuse people because you don't like their politics or policies by using the powers entrusted to officials by the American people, boy, all bets are off when it comes to our Republican form of government. And as we, say with, with, as we see with Bannon, it's being expanded. It's being expanded to uh, 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 abuse other individuals. Bannon's being abused. Uh, those who dare to question the 2020 elections are being abused by not only the January 6th Rump Committee, but by the Justice Department. Now they're investigating Trump's fundraising. So you've got essentially the political party of Joe Biden run, basically acting through the Justice Department and in investigating the fundraising of their opponents, the Republican political party. In this case, specifically uh, Trump's, Trump's um, individual PAC. Outrageous. Based on this idea that, you know, he said he was going to do, do work against uh, for clean elections, raising money that, for clean elections. They wanted to know whether he kept his promises. Uh, who are they kidding? It's completely a politicized investigation. So things are getting worse. So the Justice Department is likely going to appeal. We don't know what's going to happen with the special master. I don't think Judicial Watch is going to get appointed a special master. So the battle will continue. And Judicial Watch is going to be in the forefront. We already have one lawsuit. We filed successfully uh, a request for information to, to get this material unsealed. And you can bet more lawsuits are coming. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like our video down below.